Hey everyone, this is Chris. I uh, decided to record a video today which is going to absolutely destroy my ability to fit the entire game onto a single playmat. Uh, we're going to take Captain America up against the Wrecking Crew. I uh, like Captain America for this scenario because it is actually pretty easy with Cap to manage the threat across the different schemes so that you can have a decent amount of control over who's going to be the active villain and who's not. Uh, we're playing basic mode because everything gets a little bit crazier on the harder mode, and I really would like to finish this before I just have a big old pile of cards everywhere. <laughs> so with that said, let's get started. Uh, this deck is leadership, like before. You can see morale boost sitting over here off on the side. Honestly, just think that's pretty much the best that you can do with Cap most of the time. Okay, I have lots of different cards right now. What I really want to do is spend two and Steve's ally discount to play Agent 13. Uh, we're going to remove two from Thunderstruck so that I am less likely to have to deal with Thunderball. Uh, I think he is probably the worst as far as allies are concerned because he can just wipe the board clear in an instant, especially if he gets any extra attacks. Huh, well, unfortunately, in discard a heroic strike to put out Captain America's shield. Uh, we're gonna flip to Steve, for sure. It's fearless determination to boost my fort and draw a card. Well, I could play a lead from the front, uh, but I think discarding in order to get different, uh, to get more thwarting is probably more impactful. So we're gonna do that. Uh, Cap is gonna thwart twice and Agent 13 is gonna thwart once. Discarding lead from the front to do this all day. Uh, so I can take three off of two of these and two off of one of them. So let's do three and three. Uh, and I'll take two off of Wrecker's Scheme. So I'll keep him as the active villain. I don't have a token for this. I should use my first player token, since obviously I'm the first player all the time. Anyways, Wrecker's active. That's all I've got, so we're going to refresh. I'm going to keep this power of leadership. Uh, if I draw Maria Hill, make the call any of the other good leadership allies, it'll come in handy. And worst case, I'm not probably gonna hold on to it for too long. Uh, well, given that, it might be a wild resource in order to play Heroic Strike, uh, but that's okay. So, schemes happen, and this is my least favorite part of this quest because it scales awkwardly with player count and it forces me to physically manipulate about a hundred tokens every time. Yeah, so Wrecker's gonna attack. I will defend with Captain America. Boost card is Crowbar Toss for one extra boost icon. Two attack, plus one is three against my three defense. Means that he takes a damage and I don't and I get one encounter card, which is the magic crowbar. And now I have to shuffle because like I said, there's too many cards to play this quest. Uh, so that's slightly annoying, but actually not too bad. I can probably keep him stunned for a little while and not worry about it. So, uh, let's move on to the next round. Like I said, I have three, including that wild, to play Heroic Strike, uh, which is going to put six damage on Wrecker. Give him one of these lovely stuns so he doesn't get to use the magic crowbar, and he is still the, uh, still the enemy with the most. I want to keep this Mockingbird for a stun next round, so I will just have Agent 13 
Uh, pop two off of pilot on. And that is all I can do this round. So we're gonna ready up. I'm gonna draw back up to five. Well, there's two Avengers Mansions and a Super Soldier Serum. So next round will be fun. Okay. Schemes happen again with all of the tokens. One, one, and one, and one, and one. A wrecker would attack, but he is stunned, so that doesn't happen. And I get an encounter card, which is your dead meat. All right, uh, that's it's grabbing the wrong tokens all over the place. That kills Agent 13 and boosts up Day of Reckoning to nine. Not great, uh, not great at all, but we're pretty good at clearing that out, so I'm not super worried about it. So, uh, my go, definitely he is still active. So if I pay two for super soldier serum, then I can't unless I flip into, all right. So I'm just gonna discard three, play Mockingbird, put a stun counter on <laughs> Wrecker one more time. Uh, and I will use the Super Soldier Serum to do this all day with Cap. So I can clear a total of two, four, five off of Day of Reckoning. Puts it at four, still the most, but definitely far away from being a threat. Mockingbird has taken one consequential damage. And we're just gonna move on. This is more or less how I expect this to go. It's a, a little bit of a slow burn focused on one villain at a time until we take them out. Uh, Wrecker is definitely one of the worst and he starts active, so might as well take him out first. After that, we'll depend a little bit on what we draw. All right, so. One, two, three, four, five. I am officially out of one tokens from the core sets. I need to start clearing some threat or popping some villains. Uh, we could get record this round, so that should be good. In fact, we will definitely get record this round. Just based on what I got in my hand. Wrecker is stunned, so he's not gonna do anything. Draw an encounter card, which is Mystical Link. All right, well, <laughs> I guess I'm reclaiming some of these tokens by promoting them into threes. I take one off and put three here, and I take one off and I put three here. And one is three, and one is three. And I knocked a damage off of Mockingbird right onto the floor. Scenario is a big tokeny mess. Uh, but that's the end of that round. And I only need seven damage to take out Wrecker. Which you can do pretty easily with a single heroic strike for six and a stun. And one from Mockingbird is gonna take out the Wrecker. And his side scheme. We're just gonna put these up here for the villains that we have defeated. Uh, no one is active yet. I still have two actions with Cap. So what I need to do is... Uh, Bulldozer gets overkill, which is annoying, but he's not too bad. I'll take two using Wonder Man to discard for do this all day. Take two off of Thunderstruck and pile it on. Uh, I have a shield block, which I will keep so I can just absorb a bunch of damage. Now we're gonna refresh. Two, three, four, five. 
Uh, deck is not super full right now, but I think it will be fine. And there's Maria Hill, my favorite leadership card of basically all of them. Uh, okay. So, schemes happen again. One, two, three, four. I have to deal with that in another round. Uh, but that should be fine, too. Bulldozer becomes active because he's the villain with the most. I am not going to defend his attack, so he is swinging in for three. Okie dokie. Uh, move the active to pile it on. I'm going to prevent shield block. I mean, slightly annoying, but not a big deal. Uh, unless the intention here is that Pile Driver is going to attack as well. Which I guess is probably what happens. So I'm going to defend Pile Driver's attack. Ditching that prison guard. I take none, he takes one. Bulldozer should have also taken one. Honestly, this is fine, if just slightly annoying. Yep. Uh, now I get one encounter card from Pile Driver's deck, which is the buddy system. Uh, okay, this just surges. Pile driver gets distracting taunts. Plus three hit points can't attack anybody else. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I guess that's it for villains. On to my turn. I'll pick two with genius four, Maria Hill, as I mentioned. Draw a card when she comes in. Ooh, do like that one. Uh, so let's discard downtime to ready cap. I'm gonna play Fearless Determination to give him a fort and draw a card. Shield toss is pretty good here. Uh, so I can fort for one off of Thunderstruck. Fort for two off of clear the road. Uh, and at this point, I think I would like to have pile driver still be active. I feel like my hand is forced, but I'm honestly not super sure if that's the best. Uh, so we're gonna use caps three fort to take three off of clear the road. Allows me to keep pile driver active and not worry about it. Shield toss, but then I can't replay the shield, so I don't want to do that. Uh, so I'll just discard these two. We'll move on to cleanup. I believe Mockingbird should have died from that consequential damage, so we'll remove her now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Well, there's a Hawkeye that's probably entirely useless in this scenario. If I tuned a little better, it could maybe be good. But it hasn't happened. Uh, okay, so. Schemes. One. And one, and one, and one. So yes, definitely breakout needs to happen. Uh, Pile driver is going to attack. And I think at this point, because I need cap actions, I'm just gonna take it. I'm in full health. Boost is move the active counter to blah, 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 blah. Oh, interesting. I think I took an extra attack because this card specifically mentions moving the active counter to the villain. And then they attack without an extra scheme. Admittedly not super clear. So, okay. Bulldozer becomes active. He attacks without a scheme, so I'll defend. Retaliate is going to do one damage to each of them. And I'm just going to move on. Draw my card from the Bulldozer deck, which is Headbutt. 
All right. Uh, nothing in here is super expensive, but maybe it'll hit Hawkeye and I won't feel bad. All right, morale boost is gonna do one damage to me. Uh, I like that card, but a little bit of a softball here. I guess it's back to my turn. Uh, Pile Driver is going to become active again, and I do have to attack him because I can't attack anybody else. So. Honestly, this hand is real bad now. <laughs> uh, let me pick two for a Super Soldier Serum. This pile driver do takes away an upgrade. Uh, that's not too bad. So might as well lead from the front to ready cap, exhaust him to take two off of this main scheme. Since it does trigger a loss at exactly six, which in solo mode is just weird. Uh, feels like that shouldn't happen since it's a turn counter. Anyways, have Hawkeye in my hand, but I don't want to play him. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Use Maria to take two off of, actually, hang on. One, two, three, four. There's four cards left in my deck. Let me not use Maria so that she'll be available next cycle for any make the calls. I am gonna have to get an extra encounter card regardless of what happens. So I'm gonna leave all the schemes as is. Do I flip? I think I flip. I flip to Steve so I don't take a ton of damage. I'm going to discard Hawkeye because he's kind of useless. So, one, two, three, four. I reshuffle, draw myself an encounter card. Uh, Bulldozer is going to scheme, but with his base scheme of one, I'm not terribly worried about it. Still have to kill Pile Driver first. He only has 12 more hit points. Uh, which actually is not all that bad if I draw another Heroic Strike. So, uh, one, two. What do I got in my hand? Falcon, Power of Leadership, Shield Block, Morale Boost, Power of Leadership, and Heroic Strike. Uh, so this turn is going to be fun. 100%. But first things first. Breakout gets one, Thunderstruck one, Pilot on one, Clear the Road one. And now Pile Driver becomes active. I forgot about that. Uh, so he is going to scheme. This is probably going to take out my Super Soldier Serum. So four scheme turns this into 10. I drop back down to three total. Get rid of the Super Soldier Serum. I kind of needed that. Uh, and this is obnoxious because now I have to deal with encounter cards from two different enemy decks. So here we go. We'll do bulldozers first. Headbutt, discard a card at random from your hand. Well, okay. And there's the heroic strike that I was sort of counting on. I'm gonna put three on clear the road. Uh, we'll deal with that. And now Pile Driver's encounter card is Escape Plan. I am confused. Uh, not really, that seems pretty straightforward. Obnoxious, but straightforward. So, over to me. I guess I'll play three for Falcon with Power of Leadership and Steve's ability. Uh, I should have been readied at the end of that round, but I didn't defend. Could recover, but I don't need to. Uh, Falcon comes in, look at the top three cards of an encounter deck. Um, I guess I will look at the top three of Pi, uh, no. 
Look at the top three of Bulldozers, since he's probably going to be active at the end of this round. Corrupt Prison jar card, Escaped Convict, and Leading the Charge. All right, well, there's one. So, Leading the Charge, Escaped Convict, Corrupt Prison Guard. Take one off of a scheme. Uh, is that relevant? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. So I'm going to flip into Captain America. Fort once to remove this confuse. Uh, burn the power of leadership to ready up with can do this all day. So I have six fort now that I can spread across all of these different schemes. And I'm tempted to take two off of each of them. I don't know what I might rather do is take four off of Thunderstruck and two off of Clear the Road. Uh, this will prevent Bulldozer from triggering, keep Thunderball from becoming active, barring another card draw effect. And I'll discard this morale boost that I would like to use, but never seem to have the resources to pay for. Two, three, four, five. Well, here's a heroic strike. Please don't make me discard this one. I also have a make the call, which will let me get back uh, Maria Hill, which I always love. Um, I'm a little broke right now, so I might not be able to do both of them. And power of leaderships are both in there. Anyways, schemes happen. Up to five on the main, so we're gonna have to deal with that in a second. Up to six, so Bulldozer becomes active. He's gonna attack me, and I know that there is no boost, so I'm just gonna take three. Boost card is this corrupt prison guard that I saw before. Uh, I take three, he takes one. Unfortunately, this means that the other two encounter cards that I looked at become active. Escape Convict surges into leading the charge. Discard top three cards of my deck. I get an upgrade, an ally, and an event. So we'll put three on clear the road. Don't love that. Uh, but the Convict is easy to deal with. I'm ready up, so I think this should be fine. And the deck has tons of thwarts, so I'm not worried about him being at nine or Breakout being at five. Uh, but it does mean that I have to deal with those pretty much right away. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Or would I rather play Nick Fury? Then I can't do this all day, but I get Nick to do four to an enemy. Uh, or rather, he's only removed two threat from a scheme. That's obnoxious. So yeah, let's make the call using downtime and Nick. We're going to get Maria Hill, who draws me a card. I continually never play Nick Fury, so I'm not sure he's worth it in this deck, just because the cards don't seem to line up right. Well, now this whole hand is bad. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm gonna use Avengers Mansion to do this all day, which gives me now a total of eight fort to spread across the board. Uh, or to attack. So we'll kill this convict for sure. Uh, and with six, I'll take two off of the main. Two off of pile it on, and two off of clear the road. Uh, we are vulnerable to a treachery that boosts that. This bulldozer is still going to be active, but I think I will deal. Uh, and I'm going to hold heroic strike in agent 13, so just draw back up to five here. Schemes across. 
Bulldozer is, I should all be ready. Uh, Bulldozer has overkill, which is obnoxious. So I'll defend his attack. Uh, he's gonna take one from retaliate for sure. And with the boost of two, I will take two damage. They have two six of 11, which is a little risky, but probably not too bad. And the encounter card is Bulldozer's Helmet. Cool. Um, don't love that. Don't love that at all. I guess we'll try and keep Bulldozer from being active next. Uh, which shouldn't be majorly difficult, but might be obnoxious. Oof, and I don't have... Uh... Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so my turn. I will use three, play Agent 13, uh, removing two from Clear the Road. Keep Heroic Strike or not? I think I do keep Heroic Strike and don't use Cap this round. Uh, so I'm going to clear six threat. I'll take four off of clear the road. And two off of main just to give me a little bit more of a buffer. Does cost both of these allies. Uh, and Agent 13 should have one damage on her. And that's going to be it for me this round. So refresh up, draw four cards. Oh, got a Mockingbird again and a Shield Block, which could be really good. So schemes one and one and one and one. I choose who's active. So I'm going to choose Pile Driver, four and four. Uh, Pile Driver attacks for two. I need the extra card so I can play a three and ready up. So I'll defend with cap. All right, three on three is nothing and he takes a damage from my retaliate. Uh, get an encounter card, which is oversized hands. I don't have any supports, so we put two Threat on pilot on, which honestly is far better than could have been. Uh, yeah. That's all that's gonna be. So my turn, gonna be nice and fast. I'll drop three with a physical resource for heroic strike on pile driver. I am gonna take one, but he's gonna take six and get a stun. Uh, nine out of 14 is pretty good. Discard shield block to ready up cap. And I'm actually going to, uh, what does this thing do? This card's the upgrade or support they control with the highest cost. Uh, so he's at six, he could definitely flip if I don't do anything but I could also just die if I don't do anything. So we're gonna recover. Tokens all over the place. Agent 13 is gonna pull two off of pilot on to counteract that treachery. And a little more buffer room on the threat there. And I'm gonna ready up. At this point, we hope we get an ally that is worth playing. Uh, like this Wonder Man is actually pretty great. Plus the lead from the front so that I can do a bunch of shenanigans. I'll take it. He's stunned, which is cool, but not relevant right now. One and one and one and one. And these two are still tied, so I'm gonna keep Pile Driver active. He is gonna scheme for two. No supports, so just two. Brings us to seven out of 10. 
one encounter card is another distracting taunts. All right, pile driver, I get it. You're yelling very loudly about Steve's mother or something, uh, but this is a little absurd. Yep, okie dokie. On to my turn. Discarded downtime to put Wonder Man into play. Now we're gonna use strength to lead from the front after I flip into Captain America because that's a heroic action. So now all of my cards are boosted. I can attack with Wonder Man and ready up Captain America with these two cards. So we'll just use two actions that way. Uh, so here is the play. Use Agent 13 to take three off of Thunderstruck. Wonder Man attacks and takes one. Um, players cannot attack other villains, so he has to attack Pile Driver for four. Brings us to 13 out of math. Uh, 11 plus 6, 17. So I need four more. I'll have Cap attack him once for three. This way, the next retaliate will kill him, but I have control over when that happens. Uh, and Cap's second action is going to thwart, take two off of, uh, I would take three, take three off of Pilot on. Shouldn't get there now that we're in hero form, but I just don't want to deal with it. Uh, Cap takes one from Retaliate. And I remember why I love games that don't have tokens. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. All right, well, we're at four in the deck, so whatever we do next round, we get an extra encounter card. Worth remembering. Oh, uh, well, this will be a fun hand when that happens. Refresh up. Schemes. Um, there's my extra stash of ones. Up to five on main, which challenging. One more one token left, so I gotta clear something this round. Pile driver would attack, but he is stunned. And his encounter card is I've been waiting for this. Okay. Gains three hit points, I assume, is a heal, because it's different language from gets plus three hit points, and also he's now tough. Still probably going to take him out this round. Not super worried about that. Could choose to make Thunderball active. So I have a chance to deal with Bulldozer's helmet before he attacks again. Might be worth it. All right. I think I still have Maria Hill in here, but I could possibly get Nick Fury. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I want to make the call, discarding two double resources. Pull out Nick Fury. I know I said I love Maria Hill, and she's basically the best. But at this point, what I would like to do uh, let's have Nick deal four to Thunderball. So that if he's active next, you get a little bit easier to deal with him. Uh, Nick attack to remove this tough status card from Pile Driver. He needs 13 of 17, so he needs four more damage. It's fearless determination on cap, draw a card. Discard one for Steve's apartment to attack Pile Driver with Wonder Man. 
sorry, discard Steve's apartment to attack Pile Driver with Wonder Man for three. Brings us one short. Uh, so when he attacks, he will stop. He will die from my retaliate. So at this point, uh, use Hawkeye to do this all day. And I'm going to clear two off of the main scheme. Uh, I need to leave him active, so two off of clear the road. This is, this is basically how this works. We play scheme accounting until the end of time. I get one extra encounter card from his deck, uh, though he won't get to pull a second one. So at this point, what we're looking for more than anything else is one of the stun options out of the deck. Uh, we didn't accelerate in terms of resources or anything like that. So if I draw more than one, I can't play them all. But I would like to not take an attack next round. All right, well, I drew two heroic strikes, which is not the worst, but it could be better. Anyways, moving into the villain phase. One, 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 one. And once this is done, Pilot On is going to free up all of those one threat tokens for me. Uh, so, Pile Driver is going to attack. He gets a boost. I will defend with Cap. So, three defense against his two attack. Boost. Give him a tough status card. All right, well, now you're just doing annoying things. So Cap's shield is gonna remove that tough immediately. Yeah, two encounter cards from Pile Driver for this round. One is Pummel. He attacks at plus two. So there's this deck. Uh, I'll have Nick defend this one. One boost. Nick is very dead. Uh, second encounter card. Uncanny Resilience. We're going to Surge. I think this means I still get an Acceleration token for running out of one of these decks. But again, I don't remember for sure. And actually, this is one of my few criticisms of this scenario, which is otherwise excellent. Um, it has so many special rules to it that you need to keep the little booklet and it's a lot less straightforward than just what do the cards on the table say. A um, little booklet for me is in another room and I don't want to get up to read it. So here we go, we're surging hostage. Threat cannot be removed by scheming, uh, which legitimately is just fine because I'm going to kill Pile Driver and not worry about it. Clean up all of this mess. So my turn. Uh, use one. Write a cap. Have cap attack. Do two damage to Pile Driver. Get rid of all this nonsense. Free up all my resource tokens. I defeated Pile Driver, so I don't take the retaliate damage. Just get to get him out of the way. And at this point, I can attack other heroes. I could heroic strike to stun Bulldozer. He's a lot closer to dead. Uh, so I'll do that. I'll discard three, including a Heroic Strike. Heroic Strike Bulldozer for six. He is stunned, so he's not going to trigger that helmet. Uh, and at ten now, out of a total of twelve, should actually be pretty easy to take care of next round. So refresh... I realized just now, I do all that the way that I did, 
I'm going to lose to this acceleration token that I thought I had to put on here. Um, so I could have put out Agent 13 instead. Doing that heroic strike. So let's say that's what we did. Uh, so she comes in, she removes two. Uh, I don't get to stun and put six damage on Bulldozer. So instead of that, we have her take two off of his scheme so that Bulldozer doesn't become active and instead it's going to be Thunderball. She'll have taken one. I'll draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. It's starting to feel like Lord of the Rings where I have to keep track of way too many things in order to play this correctly. All right. Moving on to the villain phase, put two here and one and one. So Thunderball is now active. He's going to attack. Uh, at this point, I will just take the damage. Attacking for one with no boost. So I'll take two. Agent Carter takes one. Uh, seven of 11 is kind of bad. Mostly means that I need to deal with Bulldozer before he gets to swing, unfortunately. And I can't Heroic Strike with a stun yet. I play Fearless Determination, draw a card, boost up my thwart. Uh, power of Leadership here is fantastic. Use Agent Carter to clear two off of main. Uh, and at this point, I'll use three, play Heroic Strike. Now we'll put six on Bulldozer, bringing him up to 10 with a stun. Uh, Thunderball should have taken a Retaliate damage because that's a thing that happens. And I have two actions with Cap at three thwart. So I will thwart twice, remove three from each of these. Uh, that's not true. I'll remove three from Thunderstruck and two from the main scheme. So I don't have to worry about that as quickly. And that's it for me. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so I could just be dead if Thunderball or Bulldozer attacks this round. So we're going to hope that doesn't happen. We're going to hope really hard that doesn't happen. Schemes go. Bulldozer is active. He would attack, but he is stunned. Counter card is Bull Rush. All right, he does attack, so I have to defend. Okay, so three on four. Means he's currently up one. Attack is not undefended. So I will take one damage. Discard two cards from different effects. Ba, 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 ba. Just mills, that's fine. Absolutely deal with that. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, my turn. I already play Shield Toss, which I had in this deck forever and never actually used against this scenario. Pitch two cards. Pick up the shield. Uh, I'm going to do four to each of these two. Bulldozer is defeated. Thunderball is close. Slide all these tokens off. Clear the road is gone. And now we just have Thunderball left, which is delightful. I'll discard strength, play Maria Hill. Draw myself a card. Discard Mockingbird to put Captain America's shield back out. Uh, and I'm gonna have Maria take two off of the main scheme. Do I want to flip back? Uh, Stunny friendly character is obnoxious, but I only have to do five more damage to him. So it's probably not gonna happen. And the turn in alter ego form. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Could be fine. Yeah, with a shield toss, I can definitely take out Thunderball. Also have morale boost and lead from the front if I want to do it that way. So I think we're good. Everyone should be ready. Those are my cards. Two on the main scheme, one on Thunderstruck. Uh, Thunderball is going to scheme for three. Buddy system does nothing when there's only one in play. Seven out of ten on that. Draw an encounter card, which is energy projectiles. Don't love that I'm at nine and that I have lost dear beloved Maria, who has done so much work. Uh, but honestly, it's fine because we're about to win. So like I said, doing some math, I need from eight, five more in order to take out Thunderball. So we're going to flip to Captain America. Uh, discard one for a morale boost. That gets me six right off the bat. So I'll discard two, lead from the front. So we're swinging in for four each with downtime for two swings. And that is enough for me to take out Thunderball, clean up the last of the Wrecking Crew, move all these tokens off of this play space. And we're done. Uh, that definitely went a little bit rockier than all of the practice games before this. Uh, the, the resources didn't quite line up as well as they could have. Getting that super serum soldier... Ugh, wow, words. Getting that super soldier serum rolling so that you can pretty continuously play heroic strikes when you draw them, cycle through those mockingbirds, possibly have enough resources to make the call to bring her back. Actually does a lot of work against this scenario. Um, does kind of falter a little bit as the active villain shuffles around the longer you play, but for the most part not too bad. Still not 100% sure I got the rules right for some of these things, like extra attacks when they switch back and forth, uh, the acceleration token for cleaning out one of the villain decks. But overall, seems pretty fair. Uh, and you can see how Cap's ability to strategically pick off threat across all these different schemes really does make a big difference as far as performance in this quest goes. All right, everyone, that was a long one. Thanks for watching.